Oh my gosh, this game is so bad. I hate it. You kids have it so easy today. So come sit on my lap. It's lap time. Let's go. Come on. Oh, you kids have it so easy these days. When I was your age, when I was a youngin, I was in World War II, battling in D-Day. Codename Operation Neptune. Yep, that's right. I remember like it was yesterday. U.S. had Omaha Beach. Canada had Juno Beach. The Brits had Golden Sword. 6.30 in the morning, France coast. I remember like it was yesterday. <laughs> oh, Pep, Pep, what exactly do you remember? What is this? Casualties. I lost all my friends that day. Never gonna forget Omaha Beach. Omaha! 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 D Day was also an important day in the history of warfare because it showed that a big nation such as Germany could be defeated. And it was important because it was a turning point in the war because the US helped get, take pressure off Russia by going on the western front while Russia was on the eastern front and it made Germany fight a two front war. Oh uh, yeah, I remember the day after, it was all over the news, I read it in the newspapers. It was a terrible day for everyone. Pepper, Pepper, hey Pepper! Oh, Joy, grandson. Tell me about the Battle of Lexington and Concord, Pepper. Well, what is that? What? What is it? In ten years, the greatest war will be upon us. World War III. Russia will take over Crimea and the Ukraine. This war will decide the fate of the Russian government, dictatorship, or freedom! Jay Breezy at night show. Tonight I got my guest, Nicholas Cage. All right, as you all know, today is September 11th. As we know, we all know it happened on this date. Nicholas Cage, what do you think about 9-11? What are your thoughts? Well, tonight I'd actually like to change things up a little bit and ask you some questions. All right. First, 
I would like you to give the audience a background on 9-11. Well, on September 11, 2001, terrorists attacked the World Train Center in Pentagon by hijacking planes. How large of an impact do you believe this had on the United States as a nation? I believe it had a, a great impact. It, uh, I mean, it, it just astonished America. Nothing like this of this uh, magnitude had ever happened. There have been terrorist attacks, but never like this one. Okay, so were this event to have not happened, how do you think America would be today? Well, I do think from 9-11 we have, we have grown and we have learned uh, how to prevent these type of attacks and uh, prevent terrorists from harming us. So, compared to terrorist attacks in the past, such as Pearl Harbor, how do you think this is... <laughs> Go. Compared to events in the past, such as Pearl Harbor, why is this attack unique for America? This is the first, you know, large-scale terrorist attack that happened on the mainland of the United States. Uh, the World Trade Centers and Pentagon such important uh, buildings to us and uh, that were crashed and now in your opinion <laughs> was it good that this so Jay Breezy in your opinion was it good that this event happened in America I mean obviously not I wish this wouldn't have happened because it, it killed thousands of people and uh, affect us as a nation uh, if there was a good outcome, I believe, you know, it helped us improve our national security and uh, help us become safer for the future. The two most important people during the Battle of Lexington and Concord were General Thomas Gage and Paul Revere. Paul Revere warned the people of Lexington that the British were coming. The British are coming. After many years of conflict and quarrel, 700 British troops march in to Lexington, where, already pre-warned, 70 colonists await. The British are coming to take guns and gunpowder from the colonists. No one knows who shot first. Eventually, the British were forced to retreat. <laughs> this battle was important because it was the first colonial victory. Also, it was the first time in the Revolutionary War where guns were used. The long-term lasting effect of this was that America is now a country.